there are so many myths out there, all right? Uh, the myth of abs, all right? So you can have abs, you should always have abs, always. You should always have them. You should always be able to see them. And you should be around always over 5% to, you know, 50, not even 15, I would say, like 10, 10, 13, if you're a guy. Uh, if you're a woman, you should have more fat, obviously. You got to stay consistent. That's the most important thing. There are so many, you know, tools, but, you know, it's not just tools. You got to, you got to have a new mindset. You got to get out of the whole, uh, the whole, I got to cut and bulk, you know, oh, you can't always have, it's actually a myth that you can't always have six pack abs. Now that's a myth. All right. So, you know, I went back and forth from myths. I realized this. I just realized that I, I used to believe, you know, once you're way beyond, you forget about these things. So I just realized that I used to believe that, you know, you got to prepare for the summer. You got to, you know, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I got to do this fast. I got to train, prepare for the summer. Then I'm beach ready. That's not how, not how it works at all. You you always work on this always and and um, you don't bulk in in the winter and then cut before summer that's nonsense that is you know even christian bale said it's not good to yo-yo back and forth why should you yo-yo back and forth why isn't there a better way there is a better way of course there is a better way i always have this i always have this I'm always lean, always. And I have the methods to always get lean if I need to. So, you know, once you adopt this, once it becomes a lifestyle. So, you see, it's always the mindset and behavior. That's the most important thing. Because no matter how much information you have and knowledge, if you don't utilize knowledge, it never becomes wisdom. You see, you have to utilize it you have to use it, you have to apply it, you have to implement it. I can use all the words in the dictionary. Uh, you gotta, and when I say you gotta, all right, if you don't do this, you won't have six pack abs 24 seven, 365. Perhaps you will have it sometimes and then you won't and then you will be disappointed and you know, uh, your uh, confidence will lower again and you will have lo low self-esteem and you might even go back to your old behavior patterns because that's very easy to do, all right? That is super ultra easy to do. You have to see it long-term. Uh, if you wanna have long-term sustainable results, never, you know, you, you keep on wasting time on everything. Those videos with, you know, all these six-pack abs, do this, do that, uh, do sit-ups and do, um, you got to target your, your abs. That is a myth, all right? You cannot, you cannot target the fat on anything, actually, not just abs. H how do I get, you know, thinner in my, on my face? And I'm all, it doesn't, it's incredible how, how many times you have to break this myth and it never breaks. People keep on believing this myth, all right? I know there is a word for this. Um, I used to know this when I, was deeply into skepticism, but there is this bias. Well, confirmation, but well, it's not, when you mention a myth, and then usually people remember the myth instead of that it is a myth. So I forgot what it's called, but it doesn't matter. So what matters is that, all right, so you've got to understand that this is a myth. This is non-true. This is non-truth. All right, this is not how reality works. Non-truth is e equals to non-reality. We want reality because that will give you results. That is truth, all right, that is truth. All right, so the truth is you can't focus on your face, all right? The same way you can't focus, you can't remove the fat, you know, specifically um, on your belly fat, all right? Uh, you you have to the fat is distributed throughout the body all right it, you can't just the body is smarter than you and 
the same way look at look at it this way uh, can, can you control how the body will once you eat meat or you know protein can you control that the protein goes into the muscles is there a way to do that the same way with burning fat on the body all right there is no way you can you can control that all right there is no way what the only thing you can control is your behavior and mindset that's the only thing you can control you can only control whatever movements you do training and whatever other movements you do things you put into your mouth eating and things you never you know never put into your, in your in your mouth and moments where you never put anything in your mouth fasting so you see there are methods you got to implement all of them and then you will see results that's how you see results and there is no secret there is just hard work removing your old identity and you know you become a new person you truly want to change yourself that's the most important thing you know and but not just that all right you want to take it you want to hit hit your genetic potential you want to hit your highest potential i'm not here for mediocrity all right mediocrity in mediocrity out greatness in greatness out all right information in information out so got a filter all, all the nonsense has to go all the nonsense has to go and and so that's the truth that's the truth about six pack abs and fat and things like that all right so that's it i'm gonna take a shower now and i will see you tomorrow